The difference from the highest and lowest settings at 100% resolution scale with no upscaling is about 25-30%. to Let's find out which settings have the biggest impact. Shadow quality seems to correspond to resolution more than anything else. You'll see a decent jump from low to medium in fidelity. From medium to high there's almost no change at all. And then from high to ultra in some situations you'll see a pretty big boost again. This is something you should be able to play on medium in most systems. There are certain situations in which your frame rate's going to drop more than others, but for the increase in fidelity, I'd recommend keeping it medium or high and ultra if you can. I spent hours searching for a difference in indirect lighting in any situation, but couldn't find anything quantifiable. The only thing it did seem to affect was aliasing on some shiny surfaces like railings. So if you're seeing a lot of jagged edges in the distance, this could be the culprit. Keep it on medium at least to get the best quality visuals, but I saw no difference from medium to ultra. Reflections quality will dictate the amount of reflections on a surface as well as what resolution those reflections are. There's a nice visual jump from low to high, so keep this on high if you can to get the most immersive experience. It can really add a lot to certain places in the game. Unfortunately, there are no surfaces that you'll be able to see your own reflections and mirrors do not work under any settings. Particle quality is another one I might be looking in the wrong spot, or it might be something that just isn't working at the time. I tried multiple situations to see a difference, uh, slowed it down, but everything looks pretty much identical between the two, as well as the frame rate. Volumetric lighting has a pretty big impact on performance, but there's not a giant difference in visuals between the lowest and highest settings. It seems like the highest settings will make the lights brighter and a bit more directional, but it doesn't seem to add any lights to the environment, so if you are on low or medium, you'll have essentially the same experience. I'm actually not convinced there is a difference between high and ultra. Crowd density was a tough one to test since the crowds didn't want to respond to the settings immediately, but there didn't seem to be a giant impact in frame rate, but there was a few more NPCs when you were wandering around towns. Motion blur is going to add the classic motion between frames. I always keep this turned off because I want the smoothest experience in the most detail. One of the biggest impacts on performance, GTAO, is the ambient occlusion in Starfield. From low to medium, you see a bit of a fidelity increase, but almost no frame rate difference. And then going from medium to high and then ultra, you'll see a pretty big drop. You do see a nice difference in shadow quality around small objects. They do make it more grounded in the universe, so keep it as high as you can without sacrificing the frame rate you need. Grass quality affects the amount of grass in your scene. A higher value will increase the amount of spawn grass as well as its distance. Frame rates are usually pretty good where grass is involved, so you should be able to keep this medium or higher. Contact shadows will add shadows from the sun to small objects in the scene like bricks and bottles. You'll also see its effect on layered greenery like grass and shrubs. A nice visual improvement that seems to look the same from medium to ultra, with the same frame rate. Low will turn off the effect, so keep it at least on medium if you want it enabled. FSR is a feature that works reasonably well to boost your frame rate. 
I did realize that at 100% resolution scale, you'll actually get worse performance with FSR on, so make sure you lower that resolution scale to get a boost in frame rate. I wouldn't recommend lowering it under 75% since you end up losing a ton of detail even at 4K. Keep that resolution scale as high as you can to get the frame rate you need. CAS is another AMD upscaler called Contrast Adaptive Sharpening. This doesn't work quite as well as FSR and you seem to lose more detail at a lower frame rate, so I would keep this one on FSR over CAS personally, but it might work differently on AMD cards. I did find it interesting how much sharper the letters were at 100% with FSR on. VRS appears to be an NVIDIA technology that lets your GPU use more power on more demanding parts of the frame while using less power on less demanding parts. You can see it really sharpens up jagged edges in the distance, so I would keep this on if you can. It doesn't have much of a frame rate impact for the increase in visual fidelity. Film grain intensity adds film grain into the scene so you can feel like you're in a movie with no impact on performance. Depth of field is going to blur out the background when you're locked in conversation with NPCs. Very minimal loss on performance. I used all the lowest settings to make sure that no one setting was affected by any other setting. But this game is notably missing a field of view slider, a brightness or gamma slider, HDR support, and of course DLSS. All these things can be and are fixed with mods, but it would have been nice to have them in a menu setting.